has a forward focus. Uh, we've had it for years. I'm giving it to my daughter. Uh, it has a ZTEC motor in it, which is really the good motor from Ford, if you're going to call it Ford's anything good. But anyway, um, we uh, have been overheating, not overheating, overheating, but running hot when it's, uh, uh, when it's sitting at idle or at low speeds on the freeway. She said it wasn't really getting hot. She didn't notice. But uh, what's well, a common problem on these is this resistor. It goes bad. Uh, the thing I found on this car that's different than the other ones that I saw, they just seem to be able to just yank it right out of this hole. But it looks like this one goes in from the radiator uh, from the other side. It comes from this side and goes in like, like this. So this is a 2000. So the other ones I'm seeing, they drop into the hole. <laughs> So this one here goes in from this way because it's going to be able to unclip it going the other way going out. So uh, what I found is kind of cool is down here on the radiator, if you can even see, so I get my light on here. Uh, you can see down here there's these clips, and if you just push on these clips, uh, then this clip here you, you can actually pull the fan up at the same time, and you'll be able to pull the fan up, and then you should be able to push it away from the radiator and reach in there and get it. I'm going to see if I can do that right now. So in comparison, I've got the old one out. Uh, it was a little bit tough. It was not easy to get it out. Um, just uh, pry, the pry, pry the fans back from the radiator a little bit. I just use a big screwdriver like this, pried right in here. Be careful not to break this plastic piece here. And uh, then I noticed, of course, um, if you see this heat problem, and the new one comes with the new, here's the new one. See, there's no heat around that area. You can see that right there. Pretty burned up. More than likely, it's bad. I'm not going to bother to test it. I've seen other people with the same similar problem online. Uh, but maybe yours goes on the way that ours did, and it went you had the only way to unclip it was to push it into the uh, fan shroud and then pry the fan shroud out to get it back in. So what I'm going to use to put it back in, which I would suggest before unclipping it next time, I would probably reach the magnet inside, connect it to it, and then release the clips and push it inside and then have this thing here prying, having your screwdriver prying it out just pull it right straight out the top otherwise uh, if it does fall down there for some reason it's not too hard to go ahead and uh, and re uh, push out on the shroud be below and let it drop to the ground but you wouldn't want to do that with your new one uh, don't want to cause damage to it so let's take a I'll let you know how the results are in the next little portion of this video so after about a 10 minute fight here <laughs> I was able to do it. I'm going to show you how. Um, I, I put the, right in this hole in the fan, if you can see where this is, I inserted it through here, held it in place, pulled back on the fan, walked it over with my fingers, flipped it over, and got it to where it's supposed to be and snapped it in the clip. It is possible to do, so if you think it's impossible, it's possible to do this way. It's not easy. Uh, it takes somebody with some pretty good hand-eye coordination. This is not a, for the beginner. Um, this is a shortcut for a person who is a near professional. So anyway, just walk it over from, from this hole in your fan, put it inside here, walk it over with your fingers, walk it over with your fingers, pull out, use your other hand, you have to be ambidextrous to do this, pry, I use this screwdriver here to pry the uh, fan shroud out and uh, reached my fingers in, twisted it all around, got it into place, snapped it in. So just so you know, it is possible if you just, you know, push out on this clip right here and then and you can see the clip right, right down in there. It's right there. I don't know if I can zoom in. I'm going to try to zoom in so you can really see that. Um, I'm upside down so you can see there's a little clip you just uh, work that clip slip that over and then pull up at the same time and that will release the fan 
away without using any tools. Work it across here. So if your engine's hot, let it cool down because uh, you're not going to be able to do this with it hot. And then you just walk it from this hole straight over to all the way across to over here, um, reaching your hand, one of them, your thumb between here. And it's going to take all your fingers in both hands. And then you can work it on over there and put it in. It comes in from the back side. It does not come in through the front like some of them. Like their later models, I think they popped in this way. This is the early model, 2000, goes in the other way. So new one's in. I'm going to go ahead and comes with a new pigtail. Uh, make sure you use this. When you cut your wires, cut them nice and close to the plug so you have plenty of wire to work with. Well, actually, there's plenty of wire here. There's a, there's about six or eight inches. So you should be able to cut it back a little bit and then uh, go ahead and connect that up and put the new plug on. You're good to go. All right, that's how you do it.